Hello and welcome. Today we will be talking about debugging a mixed language program. In our case it will be Python and C++. And the reason you would do that is because you have this function in Python which is running slow and you know that okay if I write this in C++ it would be fast. So what you do is you go ahead write the function in C++ and you use pybind and export the module right. So here we are exporting our module as addimple and we are importing it in Python here add impulse right so you go about that everything's fine you have written tests but then you find okay there's one bug in your implementation and you don't want to write the tests in c++ again and build them under uh, debug mode like we saw in last video right so this time what we are planning to do is we'll run it via python and attach our gdb to it okay that's the process like we'll run it from python add a breakpoint we'll attach to our current running process the gdp and we'll be able to debug the c++ code okay and that's the plan and to go about it let's just um, build the c++ code once and to build it the these are the compiler commands or like this is the flags you would like to pass to the compiler the important point to note is that if it is position independent code because it will be a shared object and um, so you can easily find this on pybinds documentation there's ton of examples there if you want to explore more but one thing i wanted to talk about was like the difference when you build a program in with optimizations enabled and one uh, with uh, debug information okay so first time i'll be building with o3 optimization and let's and what we are interested in right now is looking at the size of the binary that we get okay so here we are building with o3 and there you go we have it ready and um, let's print the size and if you see the size is 145 kb okay so let's keep that in our head and let's rebuild it in debug with debug symbols okay and debug symbols is important because we want to debug it so we have our binary ready and this is 2.1 mb so Act just a digression i was actually planning to do with some actual library like pytorch but the problem was that if let's let's if pytorch is like 300 to 500 mb binary with release mode then uh, if i did it in debug mode that would be like 10 times right we have seen it 145 versus 2 mb so yeah so that's one reason i did not go about it and just uh, had this simple implementation so that's one thing to keep in mind that debug mode like bloats your binary by a big number like around 10x okay and uh, let's talk about debugging now so we have our shared object ready what we need to do is tell vs code okay we have two configurations one is to debug python and one is to debug c++ the python one is fairly straightforward it's mostly the standard one like the type is python request is to launch the current file and console is integrated terminal for c++ it's slightly more interesting the type is c++ debug request is to attach so if you have watched the previous video we had it as launch because we had compiled a binary and we wanted to launch it under gdb this time we want to attach it using gdb the program we are interested in is python in this particular environment because that's the environment i've set up the, the debug extensions of vs code 2 and process id uh, we'll be choosing it at runtime because we don't know right what process id our python program will get and the mi mode is gdb i had to set the uh, debugger path because i think by default it looks into user bin but since i've installed gdb in my environment the, i had to specify that and there's some basic setup commands for enab to enable pretty printing of text for gdb okay so we have our debug uh, configurations ready all we need to do is start debugging right so to do this we have to first launch our python program and it's important to add a breakpoint before we um, actually run our function in question so let's go ahead and do that i've already added a debug here before we use it and we have also printed the process id this will be handy because we have to attach gdb to this particular process and it's just easy to print because otherwise you have to search the running programs and if there are multiple programs you have to just be extra careful right so it's just handy stuff so since we have broken at this point let's go ahead and try to attach our gdb right so 
the drop down will have gdb attached which corresponds to this name we have given in launch json and let's we already have a few breakpoints in c++ code so let's go ahead and click go our process id is 420 so i'll just go ahead and type that and there you go we have connected with gdb at this point the debug console shows that we have loaded a few symbols most of them look like python and at the very end if you can see it's add impl c python blah 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 and that's the file we had actually compiled that's the shared object we had right so it has also loaded that so let's see if we are able to get into the c plus like break at c plus plus code and let's go ahead and there you go right we have broken at the expected breakpoint and this is a very straightforward function we take two lists and just add the elements element wise and re return a new list right that's that's really simple and as you can see we have the local variables if you had seen the previous video of c++ debugging everything is almost the same on the debug window and you can also see the callback okay so if you see we are here we can also trace how we landed here and below are the c uh, c python's frames but the interesting part for us is this one and as you can see this is pybind h which calls through few things and finally we reach our function so you can also inspect the pybind's uh, code as well right and uh, that's that's it folks like you can do everything that you could do in usual c plus plus debugging check the registers and everything so i hope this helps you if you some someday stumble upon this sort of uh, program and you want to debug the c plus plus part or some other binary but yeah thank you folks thanks for listening i hope you liked the video if you did please hit the like button and if you like this sort of videos please hit the subscribe button thanks again bye